Well, the first thing I'd say is I think that was a very gutty performance by our kids to um, finish the eight-day stretch, four games in eight days, and I thought they came out and played with intensity and, and hit some shots early in the game, which really put us in a good position. I don't know that we scored very well in the second half, um, but fortunately our defense is a little bit better too. Coach, in the first half, East Tennessee State shot at over 50% from the field, but in the second half you held them to under 30%. What defensive adjustments did you make? Well, we tried to not give up as much penetration, but that, I don't know that we really did a great job of that. We just tried to slow them down as much as possible, try to mix up a couple things that we did and slow them down. And, and, and it helped us, too, because you know when they did get to the free throw line, we were fortunate that they did make them. And, and that's part of the game. And so, But they helped us a little bit in that regard as well. You've talked about this a couple of times, but uh, Kayla Thacker, multiple impacts in multiple areas, 20 points, six rebounds, uh, four assists. Uh, talk about her impact on the game today. Well, I think she affects the game in a lot of different ways, and we've talked about that. She creates possessions for us, whether they're offensive rebound possessions for us, defense, defensively deflecting a lot of passes. Um, she gets steals for us. She gets rebounds on the defensive end. So she does a lot to keep us keep, keep herself in the game and keep us in the game at the same time. So, you know, we certainly are – uh, I'm fortunate that she creates those, especially offensively for us, because I think she's she's gotten quite a few offensive rebounds during the course of the season so far. Tierra Hopper did return tonight, only played a couple of minutes, so uh, Melody Doss has to come off the bench, play a little bit more of a bigger role. A double-double tonight, 10 points and 11 rebounds. I thought she really played great, especially on, on the defensive end. I don't know how many rebounds she had defensively, if it was eight or nine, but um, and it's certainly a challenge. East Tennessee State is, is known to be a great offensive rebounding team. They average probably close to 20 a game, and, and so I thought she and Ellen Holton and Caitlin Geary all did a good job defensively for us. And our guards. It did a, a good job. K Kayla was probably more excited about anything that she kept 41 off the offensive glass. So that's what she was excited about because that was her job during this game. Kayla, you kind of play a hybrid guard forward role with uh, Tierra Hopper being out. You're kind of transitioned more to playing more of a maybe lower role in terms of being a forward. Uh, does that do you prefer that or the guard position? Um, it really doesn't matter. I feel like I have the same role like each game, and I know anywhere I play. My teammates will be there to help me, and I help them. They create me shots, I create them shots. So just it's an overall team win, and just each person steps up each game. Not typically known as a three-point shooter, but uh, four of nine today, so almost 50%. So when did you know that uh, today was a pretty good day? Um, I didn't really know it was going to be a good day until <laughs> they went in the goal, but I've been practicing my shot, and coaches keep helping me, and they tell me like what I'm doing wrong. So I just keep practicing, and then out comes your your second Atlantic Sun game was a close loss on the road. Now back-to-back -back wins at home. Uh, what, is, what do these wins do for your guys' confidence? Um, it gives us a lot of confidence. We were tired of losing, and we knew that we could compete, not even win these games. So having these two wins just gives us a lot of confidence to know that like, we can beat any team.